Are you familiar with the century's oldest and heaviest phones? It's amusing to think about how phones originally functioned as a black and white magic box until the biggest phone manufacturers unveiled the sexiest sliding and flip models. Soon after, robust smartphones started to develop, and now it appears like everyone is enjoying the modern mobile device. Just when you think you have the newest phone, better cell phones continue to appear on the market. Another amazing model is released by Samsung, iPhone, Nokia, or Xiaomi. Only just keeping up. You'll see that practically all phones have essentially the same appearance and functioning if you look closely. You won't be reading about the same models and features on this list of phones, but in a good way, of course. Prepare to witness the top 7 bizarre phones that you have probably never heard of or seen. Lenovo C+. The Lenovo C Plus initially appears to be a typical TV remote control with an absurdly large screen. However, the phone can be bent around your wrist thanks to the rough ridges that were purposefully designed on the rear of the device. Unfortunately, rolling the screen still causes it to shatter like broken glass. The C Class's electronics are grouped into various categories. This phone can function as a smartwatch and the user interface adapts to your choices. Xianyan Wang 3838 Since many Chinese people are habitual smokers, it seems sense that the Xianyan Wang 3838 doubles both a cigarette case and a mobile phone. However, the business opted to maintain its secrecy. The phone, which cost $175 at the time of publication, features a colored screen, a micro SD card, and an MP3 player as well. However, what makes this phone interesting is the ability to carry a cigarette with you everywhere you go. The Drass Phone His smartphone is arguably the most exciting in the entire world, since you can stack it like a set of domino tiles. Incredible, isn't it? Additionally, this smartphone has a flexible display that can be twisted in three different directions at an angle of 180 degrees. This phone has a large display that can be shrunk to a more compact size, which is one of its most notable advantages. Who would have imagined the Drass phone would exist decades ago? The screen functions flawlessly even when folded. It displays notifications and any vital information utilizing a variety of widgets. It can appear strange at first, but I'm confident you'll find it to be a phone you'll adore. NEC Flip Phone This phone breaks yet another record just what you thought you've seen it all. How many screens should a phone have, in your opinion? One or two? The NEC Flip Phone features three screens, not one, not two, or even two. How awesome is it to have a single phone with three screens? This device offers three Android-powered screens, which is ideal for multitasking. Three displays are practical since they allow you to work with multiple files at once, and the keyboard on one side of the screens is what you need to utilize your flip phone more effectively. With three screens, you can also put the phone on a table and view films and images simultaneously. Google Project Ara we think the era of smartphones is about to undergo a transformation. The maker of a well-known internet page has one of the Google Project Aura devices in his hands, despite the fact that they are not yet available in stores. It's known as AA 0.1 and is most likely merely an older iteration from the devs. Magnets are used in this model to connect the phone's various components. Google has previously stated that magnets are insufficient to hold the parts together, therefore they chose to develop electromagnets. Unfortunately, the smartphone is not small. Without the camera, it is 4.5 millimeters thick, which is not the greatest in modern technology. Google probably abandoned the project for this reason. Nokia 888 this foam embodies flexibility because it can be bent around your arm in any direction thanks to an inventive spring and a sturdy frame. The foam features internal cables that enable it to bend when there is a message or incoming call. It is thought to be 5 millimeters thick. The Nokia 888, which isn't yet on the market, could be the phone of the future. Nintendo Plus You will like the Nintendo Plus smartphone if you are a die-hard gamer. Don't be deceived by its appearance. It has an interesting design and spins as well as flips both ways. The creator of this phone substituted the typical keyboard for D-pads and flat sticks, the standard gaming buttons, so the game is eventually played on your phone. Every gamer's dream, the Nintendo Plus had two front speakers and an incredibly bright screen.
LG Wing. The basics. The key features of the Wing substantially resemble those of LG's mid-range Velvet phone. Similar to that device, it has an 8GB RAM Snapdragon 765G CPU and a primary Full HD Plus curved display. But picking up the Wing for the first time reveals that this is a very distinctive phone class. The Wing, which weighs 260 grams, is a full 40 grams heavier than the already hefty Galaxy S20 Ultra. Additionally, it isn't far from the largest Samsung phone size with a display diagonal of 6.8 inches. Bang & Alufsen Serenata In 2007, Samsung and Bang & Alufsen teamed up to construct the Serenata, a phone that places a lot of focus on turning into a speakerphone using a slider-out design. It had a big $2,000 price tag and a really crazy appearance. C91 Golden Buddha Phone In 2009, the C91 Golden Buddha Phone debuted. This clamshell-style phone has a pricey gold build with Buddhist styling centered around a swastika as a symbol of holiness and devotion. On paper, the phone wasn't all that horrible considering how strange it looked. In addition to having a 2-inch screen and a 1.3-megapixel sensor, it also supported twin SIM cards. Hayer P7 In 2004, the Hayer P7, an opulent-appearing phone with a candy bar, was released. It had a quirky user interface, a 0.3-megapixel camera, and a tiny, narrow screen that could only display 64x128 pixels. However, it was able to last up to six days on a single charge, so there's that. LG G Flex We actually had a lot of good things to say about the LG G Flex back then. It was a unique phone with a form designed to set it apart from the competition. Even though we believed it could have been too enormous, expensive, and unusual to become popular at the time, it was still something exceptional. Virgin Mobile Lobster Back in 2006, the Virgin Mobile Lobster was a television phone or a phone that allowed you to watch TV. It could have been a little bit of a wonder when it first happened, but today it seems so commonplace. The Lobster could view on the go terrestrial TV and had a wireless DAB tuner, Unfortunately, getting a signal was a hassle, and this lobster was poorly baked. Microsoft Kin It wasn't exactly a success for Microsoft Kin. The operating system had flaws, its release was delayed, there were price discrepancies, and it was reportedly put on hold because Windows Phone 7 would soon be released. Motorola Flipout The Motorola Flipout was a quirky small phone with a square design and a flip-out screen, hence the name. The QEE or TI keyboard and the phone's pleasant swivel movement were probably its two best features. Even though it was a cheap phone that showed up, we were nevertheless happy about it. Motorola Stardak Rainbow One of the oldest phones on our list is a device from the 1990s, a Motorola colorful small flip phone device that was introduced as a part of the brand's Stark AC line. It was clearly loud, brash, and anything but subtle in comparison to modern smartphones. Nokia 7710 The Nokia 7710, a bulky computer with a sizable touchscreen and a PDA motif, was a phone beast for 2005. It was ideal for games and a terrific piece of equipment for productivity as well. It wasn't fast enough and didn't have 3G, but it was still a pleasant phone to use. Nokia 7280 there was something incredibly endearing about the Nokia 7280. At first appearance, it appeared to be a future piece of equipment that belonged in your wallet rather than Star Trek or Doctor Who. The Nokia 7280 device was created to be a fashionable computer and a small fashion statement. It included a screen, some cloth elements, and a dial pad without numbers that doubled as a mirror. It was more of a fashion statement than a useful or convenient item, but it was undoubtedly attractive. Nokia 7600 The company's entry into the 3G phone market came with the Nokia 7600. It featured an unusually shaped jewel-like design, a wide screen, for the time, and a keypad that wrapped around the screen's edges. The Nokia 7600 was a little weird to us when we first laid eyes on it, but it quickly won us over. Nokia N93 The Nokia N93 was unveiled by Nokia in 2006. This system had the capture of video as its top priority. 
It included a Carl Zeiss optical 3.2 megapixel camera, a 2.4 inch 262 kQVGA color display, and the capacity to capture video at 30 frames per second. The N93's improved video and photo capture capabilities for future devices could be a hint of things to come. Samsung Juke The Samsung Juke was a different phone that served as a specialized music player. When closed, it served as a music replication device, and when swiveled open, it transformed into a cell phone. We regarded it favorably as a thin, well-made, and user-friendly phone, but because it wasn't nearly as functional as other phones of the time, some people assumed it was missing. Hope you liked the video well. Subscribe our channel to watch more content like this.